So, been a lot of discussion about how stars from the 2000s will look in today's game. We've had some heated debates these past few weeks. <coughs> uh, we talked at, at great length about AI saying he could average 43 in this offensive-driven NBA. But which superstar from your era would have the most success in this current NBA? Do you know how many people played in the era? A lot, Gil. Okay. A lot of great basketball players. <clears throat> Ooh, this would be a great era for like, like someone like Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, right? Because now you have a whole bunch of shooters. So, you know, and Jay Kidd has, what, 12 damn assists then? And now he has nothing but shooters. I mean, you're talking about a way better Halliburton. Right, when it comes to just passing the ball. Dirt? I mean, yeah. I don't know. It depends. I, it's just all go, depends. I'm going to go with Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady, yeah. And what is it about T-Max game that you think Sh would... Can't touch him? Like, no off button? Yeah, dirt. I'm going with Matt. The obvious. I'm going to go with the obvious. The Mamba? No. Who? Who's the obvious then? Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> the fuck are they going to do with Shaq out there? <laughs> what the fuck are you guys going to do with Shaquille O'Neal? What, what, like, what, like, what can you do? Literally. Shit, when nobody could do the end, so shit. Literally. Like, yeah. what the fuck Correct. are you guys? You guys don't do nothing out there right now. Like, with, even with Joker. Can't do nothing with Joker. What the fuck are you going to do with Shaq? It's going to be one year, then they're going to have to switch all the way back to 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Number one pick. Man. Hold on, can. Yeah, it'll be big man, big man, big man, big man. They just go back to drafting a whole bunch of big men. Eesh. Disgusting. Do you think we'll ever see, and we talked about this, I think, last week or a week or two ago. But a player like that, obviously Shaq just don't grow on trees, but is there going to be a big man that, that's dominant enough to shift the league back to prioritizing? Because that big man would be evolved. Yeah. He's running the one now. Shaq. Yeah, he'd be evolved. He don't be, they don't eat enough. They don't, they're not big enough like that. Like, I mean, that was got, grown. He was grown-fed. He was... <laughs> no, he was big. He was... <laughs> Still, he field. was still so athletic, so it has to be just some. Even but young Shaq though had, had some guard skills that's, that's to push it. Yeah, like even that, that's like, even that dude was that dude was more advanced than the, the Lakers Shaq yeah. in a sense. Neon he gonna have to be capable of making shots. Like he gonna say he got to like be able to like be a shooter, shooter, mm -hmm. but he gonna have to be a capable. Mm -hmm. Be big in that regard, like stature wise, like Shaq, but but be capable of soft touch, making shots, right? But his number one asset and ability is to get your ass on this block and let's yeah. let's see what it is. Yes, but, but even with even with that, you got to think about like how slow the game was when we have to go to the post, right? Slow it down, go like so. I look at Because even when Jokic is still pick and roll, pop, then he'll dribble down there. Then it was, but somebody who just post play, now we got to sit there and slow the ball down to get him. <clears throat> but huh? look, Jokic. You still can run your normal offense, but, but it ain't going to be every possession we run in turn five. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> you wouldn't have to, though. You wouldn't have to. Because think about what Joker don't do. He don't run the floor, middle of the floor, under the rim, turn, seal. Yeah. You don't see that. That's what Shaq was doing. Like, you got to stop Shaq at the free throw line hope that he go to the post. Mm -hmm. Like, imagine, like, Shaq not having the real skill set where he can get there and drop step and just turn and dunk on your ass every time. Like, if Joker actually had that, if, if, if MB got it a little bit where he'll seal you, you know what I'm saying, he'll, he'll make, keep you on his back, boom, jump hook, whatever it is, but I just don't see motherfuckers having what Shaq had was that, I'm gonna put you in the doghouse, barbecue chicken down here. He had the black tornado, that's what he called that motherfucker when he spin on that spin lob with the dunk. I mean, he was just, mm -hmm. it was too much. And do you think teams would be able to neutralize Shaq no. defensively? 
nothing you can do. You ain't got enough but players. Shooting 40, 50 threes. And now making him straight. But, but at the end of the day, whoever has Shaq is not shooting 50 something threes. No, but I'm saying the other team that yeah, they're playing. But you still look at points in the paint, too, yeah. though. Like yeah, they're shooting so. all them threes, but then you got to look at points in the paint, what team's scoring tonight. So it still balances out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. still, I think he's he still would... scoring 50, 60 points in yeah. the paint. Yep. Yeah. And we're slowing so. the game down. <laughs> and we're slowing the game down because you got a foul. So we're putting you in the bonus in the first five, six minutes of the game. Yeah, the game is fast, but it's still averaging, what, 115, 16. Yeah. That's probably the only average strategy. 24. Right? Yeah. So you can still average that with Shaq out there with the more athletic young Shaq. Mm -hmm. Like that, that Orlando him. Shaq could definitely would have been a, a major goddamn problem in this NBA. Yeah. Rim protector, rim most, runner. Most of the bigs, I mean, was it probably Hakeem from the 90s bigs? Al Alonzo <clears throat> would be Alonzo. able to. Like, because if Rudy Gobert could play in this NBA, yeah, and he's that's not, every big, yeah, and and he's not good offense. I mean, so offensively, you can throw him the ball, and he's limited, right? Yeah, and he's not. Idea. He don't have the mentality like Shaq had. Mm -hmm. So, no shot at Rudy. Yeah, that's not a three-time defense ball. That is great, but then you add that with a dude who won it offensively. Yeah, with the young Shaq, like that's an issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're not worried about not keeping Shaq on the floor because everybody's trying to shoot threes. But you think about why they run at a fast pace, why the ball is going up and down. It's because they're not playing no defense. You're not getting... Either they're getting stops or it's fast, fast shots, quick shots, right? So if you actually executing offensively, get the ball down to Shaq, he's scoring that bitch. You got to take it out, get it up. Then y'all got to get a good, good shot off, whether it's a, a fast shot or a quick shot. Whatever it is, the game is going to move at the pace of who executing the best. So if you executing and you're not turning the ball over, the other team not really scoring at that fast pace. You got to play at our pace. We playing at Shaq's pace. You dictating it based on. So when Shaq went to Phoenix, they changed the pace because they wasn't making him the focal point. He wasn't the, oh, we're going to get it to Shaq first. It was not. Nah, we get that bitch down and shoot it and shoot it. Shaq, you get to half court. Like, sorry, big oh, fella. That's what happens. <laughs> it's like, so they were going to Shaq. Slowed the whole offense up for the rest of them. But when they could get down and shoot it, they did. And then that that would made them ultimately change the Shaq. You, you're slowing the fucking game down. You're slowing it too far for us. So in today's game, it wouldn't be that because it wouldn't be that slow Shaq. It would be a, a faster Shaq. We will hope. <laughs> <laughs> but if, I'm saying young Orlando Shaq, if you had to just guess how much you think a young Orlando Shaq could average in this current NBA. I'm saying 40 and 20. Mm -hmm. If, if I mean, Embiid is at 30, 33 and what, I mean, if 14? You, you got to play more like, what, Giannis? Maybe he's going to be playing more back to the basket. He's going to have like a Giannis. lot more and ones, huh? More like Giannis. More like Giannis, yeah. Stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's 30. I'm going to say he averaged 29 and 11, yeah. playing 37 minutes a game. Mm -hmm. So even if that shifted down to 33, 32 minutes. That's Giannis' numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's Giannis, yeah. 30 in the... <laughs> that's, 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 but, so do we think it would increase, though, with the high yes, style yeah, volume? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's nobody there to slow it down. The there's point. nobody there to protect it. Yeah. It's, it, there's nobody's big against, enough to, yeah. to, to actually stop him from... For sure. Hook dunking that much. You know, that's... <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's nobody built... Like, remember, when he came in, those... He, he averaged what that, that second year? So first year averaged uh, 23 and 14. Second year, he averaged 29 and 13. So he averaged 29 the year uh, Hakeem was embarrassing him. Yep. 94. Playing 40, <laughs> 40 minutes a game. Yeah, he playing against MVP big man, and he still averaged 29. There's no MVP big man that's going to play defense. Right. So we think. Like that Hakeem was a defensive player. David Robinson, defensive player. Yep. Patrick Ewing, defensive player. Those bigs played defense. And he was eating a lunch. Fact. And offense. These Fact. guys are. Right, you have Rudy who plays defense, but I mean, he's checks pushing through that. Facts. Mm hmm. So 40 piece. 40 and 15? Yeah. Easy. Like I said, um, if Shaq making free throws, man, that's a... Shaq, Shaq made free throws, he's averaging 40 against us. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's <laughs> nightmare. So, I mean, you got to keep his free throws still low, but, I mean, you know, it, it's... He's it's, making seven free throws a night, eight free throws. Like, that's... Yeah. Career 53. He wouldn't even shoot... What's so funny is he wouldn't even shoot that many free throws in this era because they're not going to foul him. Yeah. Because, yeah, he can't. He can't foul Because he, can, he made free throws. No, what I'm saying is, no, we keep his free throws the same. <clears throat> Nobody's, because they're not built, the, they don't have enough bigs 
to get in foul trouble for him. Right, ain't enough so, alternatives. You know what I mean? So there's no, there's no alternates for him. <laughs> Eubanks, you got him now. And I mean, surely they would adjust, but do you think now those numbers increase? Because if they got to preserve the fouls, they're just going to let him That's go. what I'm saying. He's just going to be getting dunks and layers because Rudy Gobert, who's his backup now? There's not six bums, big men bums sitting on the bench just being able to sub in just to get those fouls in. 18 I'm going to tell you right now, as much as I love defense and play defense, I'd be damn possession after possession. I was going to go out there and guard him. Yeah, foul him. No. Don't want nothing to do with him. No, bro. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, a possession, yeah, I get stuck up. All right, cool. We're in transition and I'm the first one down. All right, cool. I'm going to hold him up. As much as I can, but hey, guarantee they throw this bitch down here, y'all better double. Uh-huh. Can you no. imagine? Can you imagine Kobe in his hair? <laughs> I thought about it. I was like, ugh. It's the easy pickings. <laughs> you said T you said T Mac, it was like T Mac is just yeah, Kobe on There's just some certain people that just like, yee. Can't touch him? No, nope. can't touch him. No real doubles. Mm-hmm. Steve Francis. Mm-hmm. And it's open. But that bounce, that explosiveness. Still 6'3. Nope. Shifty. No, but but he wasn't like he was more Still, high, he was more highlight reel than it was <clears throat> actual going to get buckets. So he he'd be like the Jordan Poole type sitting there trying to make a highlight Ooh. doing too many moves. Fuck. He'd be on Sports Center you know like what? crazy. Fucking Joe Johnson. Oh Joe, yeah. Oh my God, so Joe. In this oh shit. Mm. Hey, no, because it'd be more it'd be Tatum with a better playbook. Absolutely, yo, yeah. It's, it's like saying Jamal Mashburn. <laughs> That nigga, that shit there, ah. Nigga Joe Johnson, yo, that shit, that shit effortless. Yeah, that, yo. His playbook was amazing at the shooting guard position. Allen Houston. I was just about to say Allen. Shooting shit out of it, bro. That shit, but he was, couldn't dribble, right? No, he didn't. He was Clay, Clay Thompson. Thompson. He was Clay oh, yeah, Thompson. Second option, third option. Okay. But he, don't, he ain't missing that bitch. Hey, he knocking that shit down at a high clip. High clip. 